Greetings, Leo. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 17th through the 23rd, ladies and gents. Let's jump straight into it. We'll get five jobs. We'll be looking at the overall energy that you're going to be dealing with this week. When it comes to your love life. We're also going to be looking at your individual energy and whomever it is that you are linked to on a romantic level. What's going on with you, Lions? Let's get two more shuffles. Well, wow, first card out of the deck, your own, the Strength card. Wonderful. Two of Wands, the Star card, with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Ladies and gents, I'm turning into a situation that is moving towards growth, that's moving towards expansion, that's moving towards balance. It's as if you're in this process of devising a, a route in which to embark on, which entails progress within your own emotional romantic life. <clears throat> What's going on here with this strength card? Why is this strength card here? Okay, so clearly you went through something challenging, something that rocked your emotional groundedness and stability, Leo. We have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is all about grievance, all right? So it's, it's an element essentially of going through a difficult time and experiencing a sense of loss when it comes to a relationship. Yet hope was not lost, positivity remained, optimism remained, and it's as if an individual or both individuals still see the two of cups, which is, you know, two individuals coming together and working things out. That is why we have the strength here, because such action, such endeavor re requires us to, to be strong, all right? We have to be intelligent in order to deal with circumstances that are not easy to deal with. And I see, I see this energy of stepping up to the plate, all right? <clears throat> Getting a sense of wounded warrior. It's like there's hurt energy. There's there's hurt feelings here, but someone is still being courageous enough to, to incline themselves toward being vulnerable. <clears throat> Let's look deeper. Let's look deeper. What's going on here? Yeah, so all for the sake of growth, all for the sake of expansion. Someone here is very interested in experiencing reciprocity and balance within this connection, whether it's you or whether it's the person that you're dealing with. We're going to find out here in just a moment. Now, what's going on with this two of cups? I mean, uh, this two of wands. This two of wands is all about devising, choosing, making choices. But this is the positive dilemma to have, right? This is someone that's that's uh, that's walked the distance and has now come to a point, a pivotal point in their endeavor. In this situation, obviously, it's in the relationship. Now, what is this two of wands about? <clears throat> all right. So I feel that things have been kind of stagnant. In this situation, so this story could have been, you know, occurring for quite some time, let's just say. It seems as if the paradigm is, is moving towards shifting a different direction. From a place of stagnancy, from a place of seeing a lack of growth and progress, all of a sudden someone here is like, you know what, I want to make a choice, a decision that, is, that entails moving towards a, a specific direction. I'm, I'm done waiting, I'm done contemplating, I'm done being stagnant. I'm going to walk away from whatever obstacles stand in the way of my own happiness. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa. Which is essentially a defeat, all right? So clearly you went through something difficult. This relationship, whatever it is that you're tied to in your love life, put you in a difficult situation that you are still processing, Leo, that you are still working through, that you're in the process of relinquishing and moving on from. You, you, it seems that you're, you're more so towards the ending of you know, putting this behind you. All right, now what's going on with the star? The high priestess, interesting. What is it that you're hopeful and wishful about that you aren't talking about? <clears throat> well, the major disappointments that, that you're basically experiencing when it comes to a relationship, I feel that you are inclined towards moving to, moving to communicate with someone, all right? making some sort of emotional gesture, showing some sort of emotional interest toward an individual. But I don't see you doing it, Leo. I don't see you doing it. All right, there's more so sort of quietude. Then again, this could be someone that you're dealing with. This is a card of, of Aquarius. All right, but someone here is most certainly desirous of an individual and they aren't vocalizing it. They aren't doing much about it. They're just sitting on that thought. Interesting. King of Wands, I'm telling you, this could be you. Nevertheless, what is your energy in this situation, Leo? What is your energy in this matter? 
Mm, Knight of Wands, interesting. This is a card of movement, ladies and gents. So you yourself could be the individual inclined towards bringing about balance and actually doing something to reconcile this conflict. Yeah, a lot of Leo energy. King of, Knight of Wands, Six of Wands. Leo, you're feeling confident here. You're feeling confident. You know what it is that you want. And I really see you moving, moving where? Okay, this is interesting. <clears throat> Death, okay. So transformations, you're most certain, like I mentioned earlier, you're in a pivotal point in your life when it comes to your love life. And you're in the process of manifesting. I really see a proactive energy on your end. All right, you're actually doing something. You're actually moving. You're curious, I see. It's as if you're trying to, <clears throat> if you're trying to gain an understanding. Jeez, you're trying to gain an understanding. You're possibly trying to understand whomever it is that you have this, this link to. All right, you do care about someone. I feel like you care about someone that you're at a distance from, Leo. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, you're most certainly curious. Now, is Leo coming forward and making communication? Is Leo actively approaching this individual and seeking to commune, communicate? No, I do not see that. I see an, an element of stress. I see there's a desire to do so, but I don't see that action per se. Now, let's look into whomever it is that you're dealing with. <clears throat> Obviously, this is gonna be different for all you guys. There are some Leos out there that are definitely embodying a more assertive energy and, and addressing this situation because that's what their heart desires and, and that's exactly what they're following, right? There are others of you that are just choosing to focus on yourself and overcome difficulty, the difficulty of this situation, but whomever it is that Leo is dealing with, what is this individual's energy? Ooh, five of, one, five of coins. This, is, this individual is experiencing an element of abandonment, whether they abandon you or you make, making them feel abandoned, but there's just an, an element of coldness when it comes to their energy towards this relationship, ladies and gents. All right, tell me more. The wounded warrior. Despite what I said, this individual is inclined to give this another shot. All right, this individual is, is definitely wounded and they're trying to be optimistic and push forward as well. Tell me more. Hmm, this individual is in the process of making a decision, two of wands, two of coins. All right, this individual is juggling ideas in regards to this. I get the sense that this put, this individual is one foot in, one foot out. All right, it's like they're in, in the cold when it comes to this connection, yet there's still an ounce of effort and propensity to come towards you and to do some, to balance the situation out. But I don't see this individual in your in your inbox per se all right but it seems as if they're coming all right it seems as if they're coming here with the knight of coins so this is again an element of movement uh an element of movement that is going to bring an element of stability leo so you got someone here that is eventually going to be coming towards you all right the motion's already set ladies and gents but then again we cannot negate the conflict that is present. I feel that both of you are currently in a position in which you're not seeing eye to eye with one another, yet both of you have an inclination to come together and address the problem. All right, what is the mutual energy between Leo and whomever? Whoa, there we go, King of Cups. So I'm telling you, there's love here. There's love here, there's definitely emotions. Emotions are hurt, but <clears throat> there's love. There's uh, basically, Allurement or not allurement, but attraction towards emotional connection. Wow, you guys may be very different here. We got the King of Wands and the King of Cups. All right, so you guys may feel as if you, you're opposites, as if you're very different from one another. All right, there's a complete, um, I don't want to say opposition, but it's like a yin and yang energy, fire and water is really what I'm seeing. Then again, you could be dealing with a water sign, but. The lovers, I'm telling you, this is like a yin and yang sort of relationship. You guys can feel as if you're destined to, together or as if this individual was destined to cross your path. And based on the energy, it was bound to happen out of divinity itself due to the chemistry that you guys have. Whether this is a soulmate or not, I'm not necessarily looking that deep. However, it's, it's something that's felt on a deep level to say the least. All right. 
and you guys were brought together due to a divine essence. This is a Lord. This is chemistry. This is energetic chemistry, or even sexual or physical chemistry. All right. So um, this is beautiful. This is beautiful per se. But let's just say, however, um, I do see that there needs resolution between you and this individual. Leo, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to be taking this to the extended. I'm going to be looking deeper into whomever it is that you're dealing with, their feelings for you, the actions that they'll be taking towards you, their long-term intentions towards you, as well as what lies in the near future for this relationship. I'm also going to get some words of wisdom for you and some advice regarding the situation. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Leo, I will see you on another video.